hey, hey, it's a beautiful day here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm about to head into Winco Foods. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping and I'm gonna come up with a $25 meal plan for myself for the week. Typically, my husband and I spend between $50 and $75 a week in groceries, but I'm gonna share with you what I come up with. And I'm actually shopping for two videos today, so stay tuned because next Thursday's video is going to be epic. Make sure you subscribe and your notifications are on so you never miss a new video by me. All right, enough chatting. We have a lot of shopping to do. I do have a list and we're gonna see what we can come up with for just $25. Comment down below and let me know if you are always cold no matter what the temperature is outside when you go to the grocery store. You have to always have a jacket, a sweatshirt, something. Heading into Winco, I haven't been here in months. It's quite a bit of a trip for me nowadays. I've been using the more convenient grocery store that I can walk to because hello grocery prices. So a couple of things. If you're someone who spends quite a bit on groceries, maybe this video would really help you cut back and then you can save money to put in your gas tank. Tell me down below what's gas prices near you. We just made a really funny reel over on Instagram. You should follow me over there because I have some comedy going on. Gas is 5.05 a gallon here. Thankfully, I don't have my truck anymore. That's a long story, but I did decide to shop the bulk section here at Winco, and I was so pumped to find some gluten-free pasta. If you're celiac, this definitely would not work because of cross-contamination, but I was willing to try it out, and I found lentils for less than a dollar a pound. I was so excited about that, worth the trip, but really, is it? Because I have to trek over there with gas, so if I stock up, I guess it kind of is. I don't know, but I also found that Wingo has a section for apple cider vinegar and liquid aminos. What? You can get these little reusable plastic containers to fill them. I thought that was so cool. They also now have nut butters. I was excited about that. Okay, I just got in the house from Winco Foods. I'm gonna share with you a really quick grocery haul and then we have three amazing recipes that are brand new to my channel. I always try to share things that are new for us because of course we're eating these meals so we want something new and exciting every week but also if you're looking for new meal ideas, you're not always looking at the same things over and over. Of course, everything I'm gonna share with you is pantry staples. I also tried really hard to film inside Winco Foods but it was so busy and I feel like everyone was looking at me like, why does that girl have a camera? What is she doing? Oh, she must be one of those YouTubers. And I felt really, I felt really judged. So I just kind of like hid my camera. I tried to get some footage. I love Winco Foods. It's kind of similar to Aldi. I think it's way, way, way cheaper than Walmart for us. But I don't go there all the time anymore because it's a little bit of a journey for me now that we've moved. But I did go to Winco Foods. No worries if you don't have a Winco Foods because these items you can get anywhere. Obviously prices are different all over the US, all over the world. I'm not in charge of grocery prices, so mine might be lower than yours, higher than yours. This is just for general recipe inspiration. Okay, enough. Let's jump into the grocery haul. Okay, here's my haul. Carrots, bulk section. Limes, garlic. Also, sadly, garlic prices have gone up so much. This used to cost me like 20 cents. It's now 48 cents. So this together cost me a dollar, like. <laughs> Do I even wanna eat garlic anymore? I mean, I love garlic. And I need a garlic for this recipe, but it did have me questioning, is this worth a dollar? Let me know how much garlic is for you guys. Is that cheap or is that expensive? Three tomatoes. We're skipping over and going to the corn. These were 48 cents a can. I think that's a great price because at Walmart they're like 58 cents. Two cans of tomato sauce, also 48 cents a can. A can of olives, which was a dollar. Applesauce, $1.28. Tofu, these were two for three bucks. Yes, and this is one of my favorite tofus. I always find the cheapest tofu at Winco Foods. Two bananas, which these were 58 cents a pound, and this is like a little over a pound. Kale, this is 88 cents worth of kale. I'm very happy with this 88 cents worth of kale. Actually, just kidding, it's two bundles, so it's 88 cents per bundle, which is really pretty kale. I'm happy with that. Okay, I did shop in the bulk section and I was actually really surprised. I found gluten-free pasta. Now, if you are celiac, I probably wouldn't buy this stuff in the bulk section. I'm not celiac, I just have a gluten intolerance. So I tried to stay 100% gluten-free. 
but cross contamination doesn't bother me as much as it probably would if you're celiac. So I probably would stay away from the bulk items, but for price comparisons, it was like half the price. I did get three pounds of pasta for $1.65 a pound, two pounds of rice, 71 cents a pound, I think it was. Pinto beans, I think they were 72 cents a pound. I got a pound and a half. And oats, which this price has actually gone up a lot if we're doing like the comparison for the summer. I think it was it used to be $1.65, now it's $1.85. At one point they were a dollar a pound. Gluten-free oats, and I believe I got three and a half pounds of those. So that's the entire grocery haul. We have to get cooking because I have a lot of meals to prep. Oh, and real quickly, there's always at least one person who comments that it's not sanitary to use the bulk section and also you're wasting plastic. Give or take, guys, if you aren't comfortable using the bulk section, that's fine. Remember, I'm eating these foods, not you. I'm totally fine with it. I'm cooking them, they're going at a high temperature, all the germs are gonna be basically washed out. You also don't know all the germs that are in like a grocery store slash warehouse with food stuff, so like, it's kinda like the more you know. But if you're not comfortable doing bulk, that's fine, or maybe you don't have bulk near you. Also, it's called reduce, reuse, recycle. So I reuse my bags either for like lunch. We used to use them to pick up our dog's poop, but he passed away a year ago. Anyways, so no, you don't have to use the plastic items. I feel more comfortable doing that because I don't like when other people in the bulk section are using their containers from home because I gotta be honest, I'm judging them. Like, how clean is your home? How clean is that container? So I'd much rather use the sanitary items, which they do plaster all over. Please use our bags, not your own, but people do it. Plus it's easier at the checkout for them to weigh it. Yada, 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 yada. But anyways, don't come at me because I use bulk. Please do your own thing. I'll do my own thing. And then we'll both be happy. Okay? Okay, all right. I'm gonna start by rinsing my beans and getting them into my Instant Pot. Just kidding, it's a pressure cooker. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get beans started in there and then we're gonna start cooking what's for breakfast. Always, always, always rinse your beans, not just for getting the dirt off, but to make sure there's no bugs in them, rocks. I'm more concerned about bugs, to be honest. Food moths are a thing. I don't know if they're a thing here, but food travels, you know, it doesn't just grow where you are located. And I like to put my rice, my beans, my oatmeal, flour, everything in glass jars. As soon as I get home, I like to decanter it so I can physically see it. And then also it helps me when I'm on a extreme food budget to see what I have on hand. This first recipe is a breakfast recipe. Now I made these a couple of days ago and they might not look very appealing, but they are a blueberry lemon bar. And I thought I'm gonna do the same thing for this video, but switch it up a little bit. So instead of using gluten-free flour, I'm using oatmeal. I went ahead and pulsed up about a cup of oats. I'm not being super precise because I wasn't with the first recipe and I kind of bake based on looks. <laughs> things of applesauce. I believe these are a quarter cup. They might be a half cup. And if you're wondering, the reason I bought these instead of like a giant jar of applesauce is because these were cheaper, the individual ones, which is weird to me. I would assume most of the time that the bigger item would be cheaper. Not this go around. These were $1.28. Same amount of ounces in a large jar of applesauce was $1.78. So it actually saved me quite a bit of money. And I know they're kind of wasteful, but Give or take. Also adding in our two bananas, the riper the better, but this is all Winco had. So this is what we ended up with. I also noticed they have the yellowest bananas of anyone. They like, I don't know what they do with their bad fruits, but they don't, they don't seem to sell them like Smith's does. Okay, we're gonna get this mixed up and then add some more oats. This is looking really good. 
it smells really good. You could definitely add raisins or walnuts, some cinnamon. I'm going really basic. The original recipe also calls for two flax eggs and I'm not putting it in there because I added extra applesauce. We're making it more budget friendly. To it, we're adding some vanilla. It says a teaspoon. Does anybody ever add one teaspoon of vanilla? And then some baking soda. Now we're adding in three more cups of oats. Oh my gosh, these smell incredible. They might not look amazing right now, but I am so excited for this for breakfast. Yum. This was such a good variation of a baked oatmeal. I feel like it had so much flavor and you can do so much with this base. Adding more ingredients, walnuts, cinnamon, raisins, almonds, or even coconut would be really good. It would obviously cost more, but this cost me about $8.50 total to make. It lasted me for six breakfasts, and that cost about $1.21 per serving. A huge thank you to Albert for sponsoring today's video, and of course to you guys, my viewers, for supporting me whenever I have sponsored content. Literally means the world to me. In case you guys didn't know, sponsorships make a huge difference for my personal adoption journey, but they're not the only ones. You, my viewers, actually make the biggest impact. As my channel grows, we are able to save more money for our adoption. And that is what's driving me here on YouTube. That's why I continue to do extreme grocery budget challenges and share with you what we're eating and how we're making a tiny grocery budget fit for us and our lifestyle. Our journey didn't stop at becoming debt-free and buying a home. We want to become parents and I'm gonna get super emotional. I'm gonna try to keep it in and I, can't wait to share that part of my journey with you guys as well. At first I was really on the fence with it, but my husband is someone who like really wants to, he's very passionate about it. So we will share that part of our journey at some point, whether it's in the next month, six months, year, you will see a video all about it just to kind of encompass our full debt-free home buying and adoption journey that the whole journey that has been behind the scenes here kind of on YouTube. But I'm super excited to share with you that Albert is sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of them, you are so lucky to have clicked on today's video. While I'm putting together this burrito bowl, let's talk about Albert. I was so excited when they asked me to work with him last month because you know I'm all about becoming debt free, getting your finances under control and living the life that you want. We first discovered Albert and love them because unlike our traditional bank, that has overdraft fees, cost of maintenance. Albert is absolutely free to sign up, super easy to use, and they're actually going to help you save by putting money aside automatically. It's awesome. The Albert geniuses are there to help you manage your finances. We all know it's super hard and stressful, but the geniuses take a look at your personal situation. They help you make a plan and they answer your questions anytime you get stuck. With Albert, you can get paid up to two days early and they'll even spot you $250 if there's ever a chance that you need it. It's pretty awesome. Go ahead and click the link in the description box or go to albert.com slash running on plants to download the Albert app today. That's albert.com slash running on plants. For a limited time, when you open a checking account and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you'll get $150. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the sponsors I have on my channel. By supporting Albert, you're supporting me. So let's get back to this burrito bowl. I went ahead and got my beans out of the pressure cooker, threw in some rice, 12 minutes for white rice. That's how I cook it. If you have an instant pot, it might be a little different. I do a one-to-one -one ratio, water to rice. 
This bowl was so good. I'm also gonna give you a quick price comparison. I need to do the math really quick on my calculator, but you're gonna see that. I did only do five days worth of meals for this challenge, but it ended up being about six. So I'm pretty happy overall with the $24.92 that I spent at the grocery store that got me through this week of meals. Okay, I'm going to roast my garlic bulbs. Now I did this before in a video recently and I peeled them all because I didn't want to deal with the skins when they came out of the oven. But everybody told me, just cut off the ends, put them in foil, put them in your oven. So I have this glass baking dish right here. I'm gonna cut off the ends, put them in there, pop them in my oven at 475 and we'll have roasted garlic, fingers crossed. Okay, I hate this way of doing it. I feel like so much garlic was wasted and I have all these little things. Okay, my way was way better. <laughs> this is how the internet chose to do it and how so many of you were like, yeah, do it this way. No, I have all this I have to pick out <laughs> and I have all these shreds which I was trying to avoid. So for me, it's easier to do it my route, but I still have some beautiful garlic and I'm excited about that. So try new things, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's get started with dinner. I decided to make a kale roasted garlic pasta. So, so good. The roasted garlic, even though it was, you know, I had to pick out all the skins when we were done, tasted so good. You can never go wrong with roasted garlic. I didn't add any salt or oil this time, so if you saw me make it before, I added a little spritz of olive oil or avocado oil and a little bit of salt. It didn't do that this time, and it was still so delicious. So I went ahead and got my tomato puree and salt, onion powder, roasted garlic, and I let that simmer while I made my pasta, and then I will show you what I did next. Okay, I'm just gonna do a small portion of pasta because I don't know how this gluten-free pasta is gonna be like sitting for a few days, so I'm just gonna do one serving. And then I do have my sauce simmering away back here. It's about half of the sauce that I'm gonna use for dinners. Yay. Once my pasta was done cooking, really quickly I decided to cook my kale. I just kinda gave it a steam bath, added some olives, hit it with a little bit of water. It cooks really fast, like two to three minutes, and then I poured my sauce over it, kinda let it cook for another minute. It was Perfect. If you want to cook your kale differently, absolutely you can. I like mine to just be like kind of steamed. And I feel like this had so much flavor with the garlic, the olives, the kale, the sauce, a little bit of salt and onion powder. It was perfect. And then I served that over top of my pasta. And there you have it. That is my full week of meals. Like I said, I only planned for five days of meals, but this actually got me through six. Total cost was $8.50 for $1.41 per serving. This was super fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back next Thursday with another Extreme Budget video, so don't miss it. 
I wanted to quickly say thank you so much for clicking on today's video and watching it. I hope you got some new meal ideas. This is going to cover me for five days, not the weekend. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. And I do have to run back to Winco to get a little bit more pasta. I don't feel like I have enough for five days for myself. But I think this is a plan that anyone could replicate. And if you're not gluten free, you can save a lot of money by doing regular oats, regular pasta. But Again, it's just to kind of share some meal ideas to share what we're doing in our life. And if you're curious as to why I'm still making budget videos, check the description box. I did this last week and I got the best feedback ever from you all, like the best. I had so many kind Instagram messages, which by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. We kind of lighten up Instagram a little bit instead of constantly cooking and sharing meal ideas, which I know is really helpful. We decided to give you a little comedy in your life. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram. You'll see a lot of my husband over there. You will still see recipes over there. I'm actually in a recipe share. I'm actually in a recipe share this week. So you're gonna see a recipe posted today, which is Thursday the 31st.